College Station's City Council and Texas A&M are working to keep students from breaking occupancy laws. Yeah, this has been a hot topic and Vice President of Student Affairs at A&M, General Joe Ramirez, will take the hot seat Thursday as officials plan for how the school and the city of College Station can work together on this. Hope Merritt has more. Being a realtor in a college town means wearing many hats. We work with people who are buying traditional single family homes. We work with Aggie families who are looking for properties for their students to live in while they're attending school at Texas A&M. Many of those students wind up in traditional neighborhoods. When you have um, different types of populations, so a family living in the same neighborhood as college students, you can run into some conflicts. No more than four people are allowed to live in a housing unit unless they are related. And so then it's a, primarily a restriction on, in Brazos County, it is primarily a restriction on uh, the student uh, living arrangements, uh, trying to live more cheaply in a location, in a house, uh, by sharing the cost burden among more people. Thursday, the College Station City Council will discuss off-campus housing. They're working with Texas A&M to make sure students understand how many unrelated people can live in one home and how to be a good neighbor while you're there. Cities have significant zoning density regulations on housing close to the university, which then forces students to live further away from the university, spread out more among our neighborhoods that, that, that everybody else would live in. Texas A&M real estate expert Adam Perdue told me the conversation comes naturally when different populations mix. We're pushing the students further away from the university. We're increasing traffic. We're increasing transportation costs because you have to build more roadway lane miles for a longer distance. The students have a massive demand on our housing market. Hope Merritt, News 3.